Good morning, my friends. What up? Did you thank a vet today? This is Len. This is Coffee with Len. Time for a cup of coffee. You can see it's early morning. It's going to be a beautiful day. Hello, Betty. Hello, Betty. Looks like you're going to you make it on today. You know, today's Veterans Day. I'm going to age myself here. Back when I was growing up, we were in Vietnam, and I almost ended up going to Vietnam. I didn't go. Nguyen, good morning. I didn't go. Long story. But, you know, the, the men and women who served in Vietnam came back home, and they were they were ridiculed. They were There was a tremendous anger in the society. They were spit on. Uh, and it was really an awful thing because those men and women were doing what their government told them to do, asked them to do, told them to do. And they were acting in good faith, believing that they were defending democracy in some other spot of the world. Whether it was misguided or not by the government doesn't reflect on the courage, the strength, the conviction the honor and the service of the men who went there. Chetadea, good morning. Our servicemen have worked, fought, and in many cases died over, over several hundred years now to protect your right, my right. Yeah, you lost your first true love in Vietnam, Betty. I'm sorry. We lost a lot of good people there. So I'm sitting on my deck here overlooking the Pacific Ocean with a barbecue next to me and, and I can go to the store and I can buy food and there aren't bombs falling on my house. And, and that's all because of the men and women who have given a piece of their life and in some cases their entire life to protect what we have here, to protect the freedom we have, the democracy we have. And well, the freedom we have, let's just leave it there, the freedom we have. You know, you, we can read about the Kurds, and we can read about Syria, we can read about all these other things, but we just have to read about them, because we don't live in them. Uh, I have a, a young fellow messaging me on Facebook right now, a messenger, he's looking for help. He's in a refugee camp in Bangladesh. And throughout the world, there's been so many conflicts and so many people that have so many difficulties, yet here we are. Here we are with our barbecues and our decks and our freedom. Thank you for that. Because if it wasn't for the people, the men and women who have served in the armed services, the armed forces of the United States, there would not be a United States. We wouldn't be here. So just stop and reflect for a moment. What would have happened if Japan had won World War II? What would have happened if Germany had won it? Where would we be? Where would you be? No, thank you, Beth. Thank you, Beth. Yes, the servicemen and women have sacrificed for our freedom. So let's all remember. And I have made it a habit when I'm out and about, if I see a man or a woman in uniform, I thank them for their service. Because if it wasn't for them, we wouldn't be here in the way that we are today. Life would be very different. I don't know if it would be, I don't know what it would be, but I know it would be very different. Once again, just imagine if Japan had won World War II. Imagine if Germany had won it. Imagine if you were sitting here today living under Japanese rule or German rule, the rule of Hitler. Remember, German rule at that time wasn't what it is today. It was Hitler. Thank you, Beth. That's all I have for you today. I hope you're going to have a wonderful day. As usual, I intend to be happy. I hope you do, too. It's a choice. Remember, if you're happy, the universe will bring you more happy. That's the law of attraction. You attract what you 
What you put out comes back. It's called a boomerang. What you put out comes back. And remember, be compassion. Now go thank the path. Thank more than one. They need it. We'll talk again tomorrow. Bye for now. Wait, what's that, Jedediah? We would be in, hello? Hell. I think you meant hell. Yes. Yes, they have, Betty. All right, everybody. Bye for now.